Hello, I'm Hector Flores and I'm the president of LULAC, the League of United Latin American Citizens. We're celebrating our 76th year and we're going to have the best uh, convention, annual convention in, in Tucson, Arizona this year. Our theme is building our future through awareness and empowerment. And as you will recall, LULAC is the oldest and largest civil rights organization in this country. We always focus on education. So many of the issues dealing with education are going to be dealt at this conference. So I welcome you to attend this convention. It's going to be the most exciting convention in Arizona this year. So I hope to see you there. The 20s were known as the Jazz Age, an age of ballyhoo, a time of flappers, flivers, hip flasks, and the Charleston, a dance we did almost everywhere. But by 1929, an unsuspecting American public was about to be brought to its knees. The country was in a frenzy of speculation, buying more and more stocks with money we didn't have. Then, in October, the stock market collapsed. The Great Depression would cripple America for years to come. It was also the year that three small and virtually unknown Mexican-American groups would unite. The Order of the Sons of America, the Knights of America, and the League of Latin American Citizens came together in Corpus Christi, Texas to form LULAC, the League of United Latin American Citizens. But even in the face of this harsh economic reality, in 1930, LULAC's first major accomplishment was to desegregate hundreds of public places throughout Texas. Barbershops, beauty salons, swimming pools, restaurants, drinking fountains, public dining places and hotels, where previously Latinos had been barred, were now open. And so it began. LULAC's remarkable 70-year history of fighting for human and civil rights for Latinos all over the U.S. These men had a very simple philosophy that it isn't enough to just take care of your own family. It was true yesterday, it is still true today. You don't bother anyone and you're living in your house and, and your kids are okay and your family's okay and your house is okay and your car is okay. Um, and you feel that you can now rest because you've done your part in making this community a better place by taking care of your family, you're wrong. You have to now understand that in the future, once you're done with your own family, then you have to step into understanding what your neighbor needs and what your block needs and what your community needs and what your state needs and what your country needs and finally what the planet needs. Early LULAC members understood that in 1941, when America went to war, her Latino sons enlisted in record numbers. World War II would forever change a generation of Latinos who enlisted as followers and came home leaders. You seldom hear that Hispanics have won, for, for the percentage of Hispanics that were in the war, have won more Medal of Honors, more commendations, more recognitions than any other group. Like so many other Latinos, as a young man, Lalo Montoya was timid about correcting those who would call him a Mexican. He wasn't. He was U.S. born. Wounded in action, he was awarded the Purple Heart. Standing alone on the review stand, he was honored by the men of his regiment. It would forever change him and hundreds of thousands of other Latinos like him. Then the general comes, and I look around and say, what the heck is going on? Who's and they said, wait for you, pendejo, it's for you. And I couldn't, I couldn't grasp it. But then when the general came over, in the purple heart, and he saluted me, there was a great moment in my life. That's when I realized, brother, you are an American, a first class American. Up until World War II, LULAC had been mostly a Texas organization. But a dramatic change came when Latino war veterans started coming home. LULAC's membership ranks from all over the country swelled. 
Latino veterans had learned the power of organizing. We found out what a squad of soldiers could do if they were well organized. We found out what a platoon could do if you're well organized. We found out what a company could do if you're well organized. So when we came back from the service, we opened the doors of opportunity, but opportunity did not come to us. We had to go behind those doors and see what was in store for us. If you try to go in there and look for the benefits by yourself, you couldn't do it. You had to be organized. The 1940s and 50s marked landmark efforts by LULAC. In 1946, in Santa Ana, California, LULAC filed Mendez versus Westminster, which ended 100 years of segregation in California schools. In 1947, LULAC protested the non-burial of veteran Felix Langoria and assisted in his burial at the Arlington National Cemetery. The GI Forum was born. In 1948, another LULAC lawsuit, Delgado versus the Bastrom School District, ended segregation of Mexican-American children in Texas. In 1950, LULAC and the American GI Forum filed 15 more school desegregation lawsuits. In 1954, LULAC attorneys took Hernandez versus the state of Texas all the way to the Supreme Court, winning the right for Mexican Americans to serve on juries. And in 1957 in Houston, Texas, these children became part of a new and intense mission by LULAC. They were part of the little school of 400. It was a preschool program dedicated to teach 400 basic English words to Spanish-speaking preschool children. It eventually led to the formation of today's Head Start program for all children. I have a dream that one day for the next three decades, civil rights, human rights, and education have been at the heart of the organization. LULAC now has strong grassroots chapters in almost every state in the U.S., plus Puerto Rico. Come on in. In 1997, the organization's first female national president, Belen Robles, ushered in a new era for LULAC with the opening of a Washington, D.C. national office. We have a lot to be proud of as Hispanics. Uh, we're a very, we're a hardworking uh, ethnic group. We, 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 we're committed to family, we're committed to, to faith, and we have a lot to contribute to this country. And we need to be proud of what we have contributed in the past and what we can contribute in the future. LULAC is working for the future of our young people. We want their lives to be filled with good jobs, good families, higher education, and a solid grasp of the technology of the new millennium. The computers are for you, but the best computer, the computer that is the greatest of all, is your heart as it connects to your mind. Y aquí viene todo, racita. Y aquí viene el poder. Y aquí viene el anhelo. Y aquí viene el sueño. Aquí viene el futuro. So press your eyes to the mirror and see something just. Press your eyes to the mirror and see someone you love. Stop the violence. Stop the hate. Educate. The future belongs to those that can imagine it.